Hey everyone, Ryan and Paul back from Resell CMY. We got our weekend sales from March 26th and 27th. We ended up selling 37 items or 37 sales for $966. Um, pretty good weekend considering uh, last weekend I think we were at like two thirds of this video. We sold a lot of the stuff that we just got in that uh, little garage sale video we just did actually. Yeah. That's pretty cool that you guys get to see it full circle. There's not here. much left. No, we have like two things left. Yeah, if you've seen our last two videos, one was um, garage sale footage where we strapped the GoPro, GoPro on Paul, and uh, we spent like 60 bucks or something like that on a bunch of items. They just paid for that car. That's, that. that same night, um, we sold four items for $184, I think. Uh, and then we got a few of the other garage sale items here, here. as well, so... Yeah, Let's kick right into them. I'll let you know if they're from that garage sale. We can kind of add them up as we go here. But this first item that we sold was from that from garage, garage sale. sale. And that is the uh, Xbox 360 Harmonix Fender Stratocaster uh, Guitar Hero Rock Band. And that was 35 bucks plus shipping. Yeah, and we picked up two guitars for $10. Mm -hmm. Two guitars for $10. And uh, um, the other one sold for 64 and this one's for $35 plus shipping. And then the next thing we'll go with here is this uh, Marant EQ432. It's the equalizer. I don't know what one of these boxes bottom it is. One. It's a bottom one. Ryan, You'll it's see a big in the box screenshot. here. You guys can see. They're it's already tool. shipped and everything. Just just ready to go out. But so, you can see them in the screenshot. Yeah, that, that, that was the equalizer that went to that serial system if you followed in other videos. And this equalizer sold for 50 bucks plus shipping. And we sold two other Moran's parts for 40 and 40 uh, for our Friday's videos, Friday video. And uh, these two parts sold. sold as well. There was $20 for the whole lot of the stuff. So. Yeah, and we got five pieces total, listed four of them, all of which have sold. And the one that we not going to list because the CD player doesn't eject. And we don't want to get a bad feedback. We're not sure it works 100%, so we're going to throw it in a garage sale. Yeah. But out of the five items we got for 20 bucks, we sold four of the five, which one we're not selling, obviously. And I, I don't know what the total is. 40, but... 40, and 50. And then Paul's about to tell you about the other item here. Okay, 40, 40, 50. And, and let right me find there. it right here. $16 for this. This is the tuner, yep. AM, FM tuner. And that was 16. So what's that add up to? 40, 40, 50. 146 bucks. 146 dollars off a 20 dollar buy. Purchase. Just like that. Full they circle. all tested out good except for that one. It's a little bit later in the morning. Earlier in the morning, I uh, boxed up and got all, all the Marie Osmond dolls ready to ship. So when you do see those, they're just in these boxes here. And I'll just pay attention to the screenshot. Paul's going to go over the first one here. The first one here is a Marie Osmond. Kissy it all better, tiny tot. Ha ha. <laughs> and that thing sold for $15 plus shipping. And I'll move right into this next sale here. Ryan did a private deal oh, with a guy seven. for seven slot cars. And uh the guy was back and forth. I forgot what we had them all individually listed at. You did that deal. So yeah, I can't remember more. exactly. I think it was close to 200 bucks or right at 200 Right. Something like that. And Ryan worked out a private deal with him, and he bought all of these cars, all of which are from Kurt's slot car buy last year. And uh, all of them sold, all seven, $150 plus shipping. Yeah, and that's a nice uh, little sale. And uh, you can see it better in the screenshot. And we got doubles of this one, I know, and this one, and this one. Actually, this one right here. We just sold again. We have a carded one, uh, brand new, sealed on its card. And it just sold for what? 135, 135 plus, shipping. plus shipping. So you'll see that in tomorrow's video. This next one's right here. This is two dolls that I boxed up this morning, ready to go out the door. You can see it in the screenshot. They are um, Lily and uh, Shinoa Native Tiny Tot. We just sold another live sale. M&M's, oh, brand cool. collectible, 20 bucks plus we'll shipping. see that in tomorrow's video. <laughs> I think that's buried up there in the safe somewhere. I don't care. I'm happy to sell stuff. The safe's getting twiddled down though. A little bit. There was no room. All right. This next slot car we have here is a Tyco Vintage. It's a night glow. It glows in the dark. It's the one with the blue stripes. We sold some for red stri with red stripes on them also. This one sold on sale $16.19 plus shipping. I am pretty sure we have another one of those also. Yeah, we got one more slot car going out the door here. Uh, 
It's a lifelike uh, number 76, is it? Yeah. We've sold a few of them. It's just a generic looking uh, stock car, slot car. But these lifelike cars, they're not as good money wise as the Tyco and the AFX. But I'm telling you what, when we test them, these lifelike cars yeah, are the ones that move and hold the track. And uh, this was $16 plus shipping for this one. So it's pretty cool. We got uh nine different slot cars going out the door and all of them were from last year and have been listed for a little bit so pretty happy with that next sale we have here's this walt disney classic collection this is the lion king pals forever we've already sold a couple i think we have a few more and this one sold for sixty dollars plus shipping and this came from the uh, dan's ak hall another one of these wdcc is going out the door but and i've actually been these. talking to josiah about going back out to dan's and it looks like next saturday is going to be our day if we can okay cool and this next sale we have here is this ll bean ll bean i'm sorry vintage button-up shirt corduroy it's black in color that came from the 620 hall at kathy's yep. and that sold for twenty dollars plus shipping we don't do much with the uh, clothing, but old old LL Bean, old band T-shirts, old vintage clothing, yeah. you know, old Carhartts and stuff like that. We'll pick up from time to time. And this next sale we have here, last box of these. This is the 1991 NFL Pro Set football cards. They're factory sealed, and that sold for twenty dollars plus shipping. We had this same one that sold for twenty five dollars. This one I marked down a little bit because it has a little slit in the package and it's a little opened up there. Oh yeah, twenty bucks. Next sale we have here is from the garage sale out in uh, Durhamville, and this is a Yamaha CM five hundred broadcast style headset with a microphone. We picked this up for $5, five Ryan bucks, did, and we yeah. sold it for 30 plus shipping. Yeah, so that's a good deal. I think we even called it 30 in mm -hmm. our in the haul video, or at the end of the garage sale video, we said we were going to get 30 bucks. So and we got 30 That's pretty cool. Is that one going global shipping? Yeah, this yep. is actually going global shipping as well, so they paid up for that. All right, guys, next sale we have here is a leftover action figure. Still have a bunch left in the bin. They're slowly peddling off here. This one sold on sale for $8.09 plus shipping. Yep. And the right behind that is a little, pewter cat. little pewter figure. That's oh, Ryan came, talked about this. I don't even remember it. This came from the 620 Did it? as well. Freaking uh, just one of the random little figures that we grabbed. We had like, there's some brass ones and stuff up there okay. that came from there as well. And just saw one had listed. I think it was, we had it at $9.99 and up selling on sale. What was it? $8.99. plus uh with free shipping for this. So we'll make like you know four bucks off this. Get this one. Alright guys, this next sale we have here, there's two of them actually. It's the Lego DC Superheroes Girl Bumblebee Helicopter. It's number four, one, two, three, four. And we sold two of them, one at full price for $9.99, $10 plus shipping. Yeah. And one one with an offer for $9 plus shipping. So six of these have gone out the door in the last week or two. So they're and we got six more. more. Left. We got yep, six more just like this, and then six, six more, more that, that are, are more damaged. More damaged. still complete. What? Next sale we have here is two more Marie Osmond dolls. Ryan's already shipped these before I got here, and uh, they are both Tiny Tot dolls. One of them's name is uh, Anne Marie Holiday, and the other one is Winter Blessing, and they're both Tiny yeah, Tots. I was hoping for funnier names than that, just to hear Paul say it, but those were not those were pretty tame. We'll jump right in here. Grab that uh, gesture, comp, that bear. This one? The gesture, yep. And uh, the first one is this TF Wuzzies. These are all Boyd's Bears, the little four-inch ones, the Wuzzies. And this is a clown with a stand, and that sold for $9 plus shipping. Keep going up, right here that one i think yep and the next one there's the boyd's bear uh wuzzy kitty cat and that's another tf wuzzy those little tiny things and that sold for eight dollars plus shipping yep this was to the same buyer and we have another sale here two funko pops number 82 and number 13 cp30 and ninum and they both sold together for 16 dollars plus shipping we'll uh he paid separately for them we'll obviously combine the shipping and refund him the savings all right guys this next sale we have is nine pounds we did it by weight of mixed lego manuals yeah, there's just a whole bunch from there. and those came from the lego buy uh the two thousand something dollar lego buy in camden and we're still making money off that just like these little legos came from there that sold for eight dollars plus shipping but yeah, nice to get out of here and it probably weighs a little bit more now because i think i've thrown another five six seven manuals in there just as i come across them just to get them out we basically thought we could get a little money out of them and, and we did yeah we got a little bit eight bucks 
Uh, we got a couple of Speed Racer action figures here from 1999. Um, it's kind of funny. We had these listed for a few weeks now, and all of a sudden someone came around and uh, bought two different two different buyers bought one randomly within right back to back within minutes of each other. Um, we got Pops Racer, and we got Trixie. And uh, you know they got this one's got some yellowing, and they got some card damage and stuff. They still sold for fifteen dollars plus shipping each. No yeah. There's a a large flat right box right here. I don't know if you can see it in the screen, but uh, I think you can see the edge of it. These are these uh, what the heck crystal are they called? etched. Yeah, they're like Laser etched inside. Etched. They're like we call them paperweights or something. You can see them kind of in the screenshots. They're clear crystals and they're laser etched 3D on the inside. And all of them are like body parts, like an ear, ears, a nose. lungs. There was like a medical symbol one and stuff like Those that. Those came from Dan's too. And we just lotted, we lotted them up into as much two. as we could fit into two regional flat, uh, regional A boxes. And then someone came along. Uh, they were both listed at 19.99 plus shipping. Someone came along and bought both of them, and thankfully we uh, were able to fit them in a large flat rate because they're heavy. Mm -hmm. And uh, there would have been no real way to combine the shipping otherwise. Um, but we had a couple extra that didn't fit. And I messaged him saying that we threw in four additional ones and he thanked us for them already. But yeah, combined, they got uh, $40 plus uh, shipping. Mm -hmm. They're going over to Oregon too. So good thing we could fit them in the flat, right? Yeah. All right, we got a couple more of these Boyd's Bear Wuzzy uh, little, this one's an ornament. This one's just a, a little plush. It's an a ornament stand. also. It just has a oh, stand. yeah, it is an ornament. Yeah, both little ornaments. I think they're all ornaments. We've talked about these smaller ones and then the Boyd's Bear ornaments selling really good. This is actually going out to the same buyer. Uh, thank you, Jean, for this purchase. Yeah, thank you, Jean. Yeah, she, she said she stopped by um, our YouTube page as well. I don't know if she became a subscriber or whatnot, but thank you for stopping in, at least checking out our videos and then messaging us and for the purchases. Yeah. These so for. $21 plus shipping. 21 plus shipping for these. Thank you. Next side we have here is another doll we just listed the other day. Uh, this is another Marie Osmond collectible series. It's Bunny Love and it's a cherub. And this sold for $19 plus shipping for that doll. Done really well with the uh, Marie Osmond dolls over the weekend. Yeah. And, and uh, the Boyd's, Boyd's Bears, Bears. And just and old slot cars. Yeah. <laughs> and then the next thing we got here, we'll go with... Nope, we're going to go with this thing here. Uh, I listed this last night. I was wondering where that came from. Yeah, this came from a big tool purchase that we had last year, and we literally haven't touched the toolboxes for six yeah. months. So I pulled them out last night and just started looking through them. This just happened to be one of the small tools. I think I made like nine listings and like another nine drafts. But this one ended up selling for $10 with free shipping. It'll go out, you know, for three bucks or something. It's a... Uh, Want to read that off real quick? Yeah, it's a vintage Woolworth Stores Handy 0 to half inch micrometer. And it's made in the USA. Yeah, honestly, out of all the ones I listed, this one selling first was kind of surprising because the other ones are better tools and stuff like that. This one just, I priced it down up well below everyone else's, so that's probably why it sold. Next sale we have here is the new in the box Star Wars Shroot. I don't even know how to say it. And, uh, 75524 is the number on it. We have a couple of these from the Lego buy, and that sold for five dollars plus shipping. Yep, and this came from the same uh purchases, these Legos and the manuals you saw. So still making money, pretty pretty good money since uh these yeah. were listed and purchased so long ago. And the next sale we hear is a 164 scale. This is a Jada Just Trucks 1973 Ford Bronco lifted, and that sold Three dollars seventy-five cents plus shipping. He, they uh, fell a message us and just asked if we could do nine dollars total shipped. I asked him what the shipping was. He sent back a screenshot, and uh, we're not gonna pass up too many offers. <laughs> All right, we got another Funko Pop here. This is one of four, I believe we had. It is the. Uh, it's a Mandalorian, the child with an egg. And it's. I mean, mint condition, still in like the plastic uh, sleeve. Yeah. And that um, sold for $10 plus shipping. Yep. This is a we got another one couple right there. Yeah, this is the second of four to sell, I believe. And uh, here's the best sale that we had from the weekend. And this was, we bought this from Dan, and I was gonna, I bought it for my daughter to put in her room. And 
it's just a monitor. I got it home and my wife was like, that's just a monitor. It's not a smart TV or anything. And she has a smart TV in her room. So it would be downgrading if I did put it yeah. in her room. So we listed it for sale and we got $270 plus shipping for it. And this is brand new sealed. We picked it up for 40. Mm-hmm. 40. I think he said 35. Th I think so it was 35, but I gave him 40 for it because we were buying so much stuff. Um, it sold previously on auction for 200 plus shipping. Didn't pay, but I had like 18 watchers or mm -hmm. something like that. So I'm like, let's just list it as a buy it now for hire. And we've sent out a few offers for like 235, 240, and someone finally came along and paid full price. Full price. And it's going overseas. This is a. Uh, well, I don't know if it's overseas, but it's going international at least. Um, yeah, global shipping program. So someone's paying quite a bit of money for this. Someone wanted it. I like that they wanted it. Yeah. And the next Boyd's Bear is this Genuine Collection. It's a four-inch Dusty Love You Bear with tags. It has a shirt on, and that sold for $25 plus shipping. Like to remind said, you guys again, we got $50 in all these Boyd's yeah. Bears you've seen since the beginning. And, so uh, right here we've sold over fifty dollars. We're sitting on the table. Yeah, and for example, or this is just another example. These smaller ones, collectible. Yeah, like pick them up. Especially that's, that's the last thing. If you come across them, a lot of people are going to be having them. Uh, you know, big collections of them and stuff like that. So you should be able to pick them up pretty good. That's, that's everything. It. That's it. That's everything for today. Um, Thirty. What was it? 37 37 sales i think we said 966 dollars yeah so we i thought Actually, we broke you didn't a talk thousand about the video but... games oh yeah jeez that isn't all of them yeah i got those different on my phone because those were on a different account all right here we got four nintendo 64 games here oh god what's the first one? First one is quake these were all cleaned and tested this was $23 plus shipping. The next one is Perfect Dark. That was $20 plus shipping. That's the second one of those we sold. We got Diddy Kong Racing, $27 plus shipping. And then we got uh, NBA Showtime, $13 plus shipping. And also from that site, which we forgot, we just got this uh, jet print photo paper. There was a bunch of this kind of stuff at a garage sale last year. There were like a dollar a piece. I bought a whole tub of stuff for like 20 because I just asked how much for all of it. Didn't do super great on it, but this one right here just sold for $11 plus shipping. And now that is all of it. Yes, that's all. <laughs> I'm glad you remembered that though. because well, I looked down and I was like, video games. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's all of it. Um, Pretty cool how much we've got back from the garage sale. Yeah. Um, I mean, we did good. I don't for think, us just what else is meandering listed? picking. We got the new kids on the block thing listed. Did you list it? Yeah. Okay, new kids on the blocks and the drum set. Oh, Two and things. the drum set from yep, that's, that's right. It. But uh that's it for this video, you guys. Thanks for uh sticking around to this point and watching us and we'll have uh, we got a Kennedy. couple live sales too here, so we'll have some more stuff for you guys tomorrow already. Yep, and we'll have Kennedy send us off, you guys. Thanks. Right, thank you. Bye. Say resell CNY. Resell CNY. Said, please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. And bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Right. Thank you. Bye.